All right, as the old saying goes, April showers bring May flowers, and we are, it is raining. It, there are showers. I'm just hoping for a bountiful harvest here with our, our barley fields over here that we just planted, and of course, all of our wheat fields along the, the ridge over here. Okay, well, welcome back, and let's pause the game real quick. Like, I want to jump in here because there's something I was meaning to do during last episode, and I just never got around to it, kind of forgot, and that is I want to rename those territories that we claimed. Now, as you recall, in our first, well, a couple episodes ago, we, we captured Emmonwright, and then last episode, we captured Nuslo. And one of the things I wanted to do all along is, is to kind of name these territories as I go along. So Emmonwright... This one has got rich clay deposits and rich iron deposits. So really heavy, heavily into the mining, probably mining and trade are going to be going on in this province here. And I want to start by naming this one. Let's see the iron. Let's go with something that's kind of related to iron. We're going to call this Ferris Ridge, Ferris Ridge. And there you go. Now we've renamed that province. Very cool. Close that up. And then let's continue on down here to Nuslo. Uh, the, the town formerly named Nuslo. And you've got these rich berry deposits over here along with these rich stone deposits. So let's um, let's do something kind of fun there. Let's call this one Cherry Stone. Yeah, there we go. And I can see us probably spending expansion points or development points into forest management. I don't know, probably trade. We'll see, maybe some orchardry. Uh, I don't know. I, it's, this is going to be kind of an interesting one. But this is the first settlement I'm actually going to go after today. And in fact, since we're here... Let's go ahead and just jump right on in and do that. Um, let's see. I'm going to build, go, go with construction. Uh, oh, let's let's lay out a road. Let's take a road out to this berry, uh, this berry deposit out here. And uh, I just want to see where that forager hut can be. So it's nice and close to these berries here. Maybe they're cherries. I don't know. Oh, not enough goods. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. We haven't <laughs> we haven't built our little um we haven't built our little uh, settlers camp yet. We got to do that first, don't we? Okay. So let's put that settlers camp. Maybe right here in this little nook right here. So go to this and administration and settlers camp. Yeah, right there. Just right on the main road. Uh, oh, town, modest, average, plentiful. Well, if that's the cost, 250 versus 500, I'm definitely going to go with the modest one because I don't have, I think I've got about 500 gold in total. Yeah, so, so that, that was the right choice. Cherry stone has been established. Oh, look at this. They drop it right in there. And we've got some bread and firewood and logs. Hitching post comes right with the deal. I like it. Homeless people's tents. And then, oh, here's all of our workers. Nice. Okay. So let's draw a road out toward that, uh, out toward that berry deposit. Oh, look, it looks like there's kind of like a little path that threads its way out there. So let's just go right off of there. I don't want to get too close. We'll just put it there. And then first order of business is probably get that, this, all these goods, these supplies into a granary and a storehouse. So let's build those out. Hmm. I think I'd like to put a marketplace, you know, ultimately where this, this little settler's camp is. So that's all right. We'll just go ahead and build a little framework out here and bring this down into here. And then I can put my granary and my granary and my storehouse on the edges of it. So let's start with the granary right up here against this edge of the marketplace. And then we'll go ahead and start the game and I'll bring the storehouse right over into this space here. Well, should I, can I put it side by side? I could if I expand in that size of that marketplace. Nah, let's put it right here. I'm just going to put it right here along the King's Road. Nice. Okay. So now everybody here will get to work. Uh, we got to get all those supplies into the granary. Got to get the granary built first. Maybe I'll make this our highest priority. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. We'll check back with you guys later. Keep up the good work. All right. So back to Eden Plains. Now, the first thing I want to do down here in Eden Plains and... Uh, it's something I was also meaning to do after that last patch is come through and just go ahead and start turning off all the unnecessary market stalls that we've got. So uh, with the most recent patch, you really can have the option to come in here and start deactivating market stalls for the individual producers. I want to do that because I ultimately I want to start funneling things down in through our, uh, you know, our storehouses and granaries so that we don't have to have multiple market stalls all trying to compete with one another. And then also it takes away from the productivity of the people that are working in those 
you know, producing uh, type of buildings. So let's do that. We did, what did we do? We just did a tannery and then we did a hunting camp. We got a couple woodcutters lodges. Uh, I don't want all these woodcutter stalls over all over the place here. Where's the other one? It's it's down here. There they go. Woodcutters lodge. Yep. And then a communal oven. Let's see here. I got a communal oven. It's kind of close by the farms. Let's do that. And then the other things I want to do are maybe this charcoal kiln over here. Uh, let's uh, let's go with the foragers hut, which is by our berries. We can turn that off. We're going to turn off all these market stalls. And then, oh yeah, that's right. You can all be, you can also do that in the burgages. Turn off the veggie plots here so that they don't set up their own market stalls. And uh, that'll be really good. So now all of the food that's produced and all the, the goods that are made are going to flow through our large storehouse and our granary. And then we also, over here, I think we also have another granary and there's another storehouse, large storehouse over here. So Everything should start flowing through those distribution points, and I think that that's going to be um, that's going to be good. And then after we kind of get things going and let things shake out a little bit, I can come back through the marketplace here and delete some of these um, extra stalls that we have that are in here. Uh, you know, those will those will eventually become abandoned because they won't have anybody working them. And when they do, I can just start deleting them, and that'll free up some more room in our marketplace. Oh, great. We're off to a good start. So let's go check in on all of our farms now. Um, I know that they were planting over here. It looks like they're still. What are they doing here? Oh, they're sowing the seeds here. And this one, they still uh, they still got some plowing work to do. Uh, we've got a couple of families that are unassigned right now, which is fine. That one's fallow for this year. And then what do we got going on over here? Let's just take a look at these farm fields again in review. This one's wheat. It's in the growing, okay? This one is also wheat. It's in the growing stage, okay? Fallow. Blacks, nice. And that's in the growing stage. We're at 64%. Fallow, and then, oh, oh, a lot of stuff just finished there. And then crop growth, 4% on the uh, the wheat there. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Uh, oh, a bandit camp was sighted, and stocks were damaged by weather, and construction was complete on a burgage plot. That was a lot of excitement. Let's go see where the bandit camp was. Zwyow, okay. Oh, that's close by. Yeah, just the next zone over, and uh, the brigands are there. I think it said the other army is spotted as well, so I'm going to guess he's going to be somewhere... Yeah, there he is, up here in Hofstetten. All right, and so that's going to be a race. We got to go to the bandit, the brigand camp over here. All right, so that's great. So we can rally the troops and let them go. So while everybody's rallying up here, all the troops are rallying up, let's see if I've got a level two burgage plot that's close to the tavern. Is it this one? I am going to build a brewer extension. I might as well. I've got the money and I think I've got the planks. Oh yeah, lots of planks. Okay, so let's do that. We'll get the brewery started. And that way, um, once that barley is, is taken care of this fall, we'll have a brewer in place that can... Well, we got the... I think we put in a malt house down here. Yeah, malt house here. And then we got a brewer and a tavern so we can get everything put together. Let's just see if our army has assembled yet. Yeah, they have. Awesome. They were quick. All right. So let's select each one of these units. Let's turn off the run to positions for right now. Ooh, I'm running out of food and cherry stone. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't want... I don't want that. But anyhow, let's let's just move out. We got a long haul to go here, so let's get down to... Uh, let's just go to the there, for starters. Oh yeah, granary's still under construction. That's terrible. Um, let's see, we're sitting on... Well, no food, actually. No food in Cherry Stone, so that's that's kind of bad. Oh, is there any food left here? Holy mackinoli. We're in dire straits already in Cherry Stone. So I think we're gonna have to... Uh, we're gonna have to go after those berries a little sooner than we thought. And then it looked like we could just run this road out here just a little bit. I don't want to get too far into those berries. And then I'll just connect back over to this road over here. All right, so what do we have? The, this granary and the storehouse are both finished over here. So we'll assign a family to that. And then, okay, that's all the excitement there. Let's go check on our army. Carving through the barons' territories. And where's that bandit camp? Ooh, it's quite a ways away. Um... I think we still. Uh, I think we're still going to outpace the the Baron. So where was I? I know I put in a brewery down here. I'm in the process of putting in a brewery. Oh, you know what? I want to put in a storehouse over by the clay pit. Remember, we've got this clay pit sitting out here, and we've got this uh, clay furnace that burned down a couple episodes ago. Let's go in here and put in a storehouse. That way, we don't have to keep hauling stuff back and forth. And it's just, I know that this is a temporary mining pit. It's only got 79 clay left, but let's go ahead and do that anyhow. It'll it'll really improve our efficiency down in this area. And then uh, we don't have to have everybody running back and forth, you know, between here and town, just to fire up some, fire up some roof tiles. There we go. Our forager huts finished deck back in Cherry Stone. Let's click over there quick. We'll go over here and get this this one manned as well. So now, you know, we can we can start working on that forager hut. Ooh, 
And by the way, where was that forager hut? Uh, right back in here somewhere. Buried in the woods. Let's turn off this uh, allow market stall setup. Yeah, we got to do that. I want to pause the game just a little bit and see what we've got for a layout here. I think, I don't think we've got a lot in the way of fertility. Nah, no emmer, no flax, no barley, and a little bit of rye. That's okay. What we're going to do here is let's stem off of this road here and let's build out some burgages that are going to be right down in the space here. Because remember, we're going to work our way kind of towards this stone pit. I'm going to take a little road here. going to run this right off of this intersection here. Uh, this, Yeah. Oh, look, at, I could follow this little terrain line. Let's do that. Yeah, that's kind of neat, like that. And then let's put some houses uh, right up along this little, you know, some burgages up along this area here. I'm going to start by taking this road and I want to run it up here, just right straight up this hill. And I'm really only doing that just because I want to have just a uh, an anchor point for those burgage construction lines. I'll do the same thing maybe right here, have it come up like that. Let's just see what kind of burgages we can put into this. Well, I don't have enough goods, but that's okay. Now, uh, look at that. That's kind of cool looking, huh? All right, so let's do this. Let's go here. Yeah, like that. And that'll that'll be one we can expand and add two families. Okay, unpause the game. Get that going again. Ooh, you know what? What is this? These are logs. Okay, another thing we're going to need is a woodcutter's camp out here. Oh, boy. Uh, what do you call it? The logging camp. That's what it is. Oh, not enough goods. Well, we'll just have to let that play out for right now. Oh, Wait a minute, I don't have enough goods. Stop. Ah! Stop. Stop. Let's demolish that. All right, so let's do that. And then now I can build our logging camp. Oh, whew, almost burned my last uh, my last log there. That would have been bad. Okay, good. Now we can get things going again. All right, our logging camp is finished back over there in Cherry Stone. Now, I want to take a quick look and see again. Oh, yeah, he's starting to close the gap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just continue to inch forward here with my spear militia. And I want to put them in stand your ground. And then I just want to put them up to... Let's have them go to right about here. And then I'm going to bring the retinue in on this side over here. And I'm also going to put them in stand your ground. We're going to get that going. I want to jump over and go to that logging camp and assign a family here. So we can start cutting down more trees. That's going to be important in this area. Ooh, I better assign a uh, better assign an area too for them to uh, to attack here. I don't want them chopping down my uh, my berry trees. There we go. We'll just cut down everything that's close to home. There. Back to the battle. Oh my goodness! They closed on our retinue. Get in here. Okay, so let's go back to these the retinue. Now push forward, you guys. Push forward. There, stab them in the back. Oh, look at that. Our whole retinue took out pretty much that whole group. That's nice. Now let's use the retinue to capture the bandit camp. And, oh, look at this. Our influence has jumped up. Let's go claim another region. Let's do, let's do Goldhoff. Let's do Goldhoff. And the reason I want to do Goldhoff is because if I do that, it'll force the next round of bandit camps to spawn here in Swayau again. So it keeps me nice and close. I get rich berries along the way. That's nice too. And then, um, stone, rich clay deposit. Well... I don't really care about that. But anyhow, let's grab Goldhoff. Claim that with influence. Yes, let's do it. Okay, great. Now we've got the retinue going to grab that bandit camp. We'll send everybody back home here. Go home, lads. All right. We better go check in over here on our uh, cherry stone area. And how are we doing for logs now? Can we start building houses? Now well, we've got one timber. Hmm. And oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put a couple families in there right now. Just because uh, they're all standing around doing nothing anyhow. So uh, the faster we can chop down some of these trees, the faster we can build some burgages up uh, along this, this ridge line here. And the faster we can get ourselves an experience point. We've got two months of food. We've got no fuel. Good news, it's only May. Uh, and then also other good news is that um, eh, we don't have any homes yet to, to heat. Let's get... Oh, what do we got? New message. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. It can be sent to your people. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's right. We we got some loot. Well, that's good. Um, Let's send it to the treasury. You just never know when we're going to need that. We'll probably need that for expansion, too. Uh, Woodcutter's Lodge. Right down, maybe right down along here. Yeah, and while that's building, I can turn off our little allow market stall setup. So they can start gathering firewood as well at some point. So... Yeah, we're starting to make our starting to make our mark down here in Cherry Stone. We should probably come in here and just take a look at what's going on with the farming, right? Because I think we had these farmhouses. We've got four farm workers. Let's hope nobody's doing anything. Yeah, see, they're all just kind of hanging out and waiting anyhow. Let's take them out of the farmhouse. 
So we've got a number of months for these fields to all grow and, and come in. Let's just check out the barley. Yeah, see the barley starting to grow. This barley is starting to grow. Uh, let's check over here, this field of wheat. Yeah, it's coming right along. Not a very big yield though, oof, just awful. And then flax, oh yeah, flax. Yep, yep, and yeah. Okay, so we've got a long ways to go uh, on those farms, but that's just fine. The other thing we should probably do is just check in here uh, on our food production, because we've got four months of food, eight months of fuel. Let's go to the forager hut. Oh, yeah, here, I'm gonna unassign these families out of here, but then I'm gonna reassign them, and then we'll keep that going. And let's just jump down here and take a look at the hunting camp. Okay, good, there's nobody there with a market stall. Tannery, okay, good. So let's do this. Let's come in here and let's uh, assign somebody to the tannery because I think we probably have some hides in our storage house, don't we? Yeah, we do. And we'll just kind of go through and turn those hides into leather. And then let's just see what else can we do. Yeah, that's probably good. We've got berries covered. Oh, I want to add somebody else to the, to the mining pit. And then did we get this storehouse done up here on the ridge by the clay? Uh, no, we haven't yet. Okay. And we're we'll turn off that there. I mean, the faster we can empty that mining pit, then the faster we can um, we can kind of abandon this area out here, or maybe just kind of leave it for future development. I do want to come down here with just another road that runs down along the side of this farm here, right there, and then comes running out to here. And I just want to kind of frame these up a little bit. I want to create another little farm that's kind of sits in a little vertical here. Ooh, look, if we do this. Yeah, so if I frame that in, how big is this? Let's see if there's a field we can do there. Um, construction, farming, and it's a farm field. Okay, Oop, construction was finished on something. How big would this be if this is all one big 0.8 Morgan? I'm good with that. And then I think we can start building out these burgage plots out here. This will be good. Residential. Burgage. And let's come out here about so, down to there, spin that back around. And then I want to rotate. There we go. That's going to house four families there. Construct. Go. All right. And then our Spear Militia's home. You gentlemen, run back. No, I'm, what, how do we do this? Uh, disband. There you go. So let's jump back down in here. And I want to do our little review of our, our burgages in town here. I know we've got quite a few of them. I just don't know how many are vacant. Let's see. We've got zero 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 so it looks like we've got space for four more families here which is good and can any of these be upgraded to add additional whoops additional families here just want to see if any of these are uh, are any of these big enough like this one uh, upgrade to level two oh let's see where, where we're at in the upgrade standpoint okay so we need three homes that are level three or higher okay so let's take a look at this what do we have we have a level two here and what does this one need? Oh, it needs a tavern supply. And then also needs clothing. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, the good news is we got some flax that's coming into play. And then we've got some barley that's coming into play. So later this summer, um, but maybe while I'm here, and if I've got the supplies to do it, maybe what we should do is just be up, start upgrading some of these homes. This is upgrade, let's see, this is already level two. Level two, joiner shop, burgage plot. Ooh, upgrade to level two. Let's do that. That takes four timber. How are we sitting on timber? 22. Let's do it. And then this one here, that's our blacksmith. Let's take a look at some of these other ones here. The brewery, that's good. This one we could also upgrade to level two. Let's do that. Yeah, because we can do this and that'll help with our monthly income that we get to in our regional wealth. And then is this one here? Can this one? Oh, let's upgrade that one to level two as well. And how are our animals doing? Oh, region claimed Goldhoff. Excellent, let's zoom out now. And Goldhoff is way over here. So now we've captured, let's see, we had our starting at Eden Plains, Ferris Ridge, and Cherry Stone. Now we've got Goldhoff, and we've got berries, and we've got clay. Wow, all right. And all of this is tightly packed in here. So I think this is gonna make for a neat little town in this area. Ooh, I just, I like this. This one's gonna be, a, this is gonna be a fun one as well to develop. I think the next one I'm gonna probably develop though is gonna be Ferris Ridge. Cause I'm gonna wanna put a town kind of down in this little notch down here and then really tap into that rich iron deposit, get some blacksmiths going. We're gonna, we're gonna ramp up our, our military and uh, make the Baron's life a little bit more miserable. Who's this guy too? The Outlaws. I'm going to just go ahead and close that. I don't I don't know who they are, but we're we're going to find out at some point. I have a feeling. Let's go check in on Cherry Stone, shall we? Okay, so are there still are they building houses down here? They are. They are. 
And how are we sitting for logs? Seven out of 28. So there, you know, I've got three families in here felling trees. Maybe I'll take one of them out and now I can put them to use building out some burgages over here. That would be helpful. And then let's construct a few more. Let's see if there's another configuration that it would do, just out of curiosity. And let's bring this road right straight across. Now let's build out those burgages. We're going to come this way instead. And if I come back into here, let's rotate this around and see what it looks like. Does it do anything different? I think that looks the same, but much bigger spaces out here. And that just screams vegetables or apples or something. So let's go ahead and hit the build button on that. And so we're going to have our first burgages here in Cherry Stone right up on this little ridge up here. Oh, this is going to be really cool. And then, oh, we haven't built a marketplace yet, have we? Well, let's do that. Let's drop in a little marketplace. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can crank something out here that's just maybe this little tiny, just a little tiny one here for right now. Yeah, two slots, two spots. That's all I need for the moment. I just need to have one for the granary and one for the storehouse. Cool. All right. Keep going, folks. Keep going. A couple more little things I want to do here. Let's just check in here. Yeah, this is really starting to come right along. Oh, let's let's go in here and upgrade this burgage. Uh, let's see here. Upgrade to level two. This is this is one that can be expanded. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm just trying to prepare for the eventuality here that I'll get distracted and I won't be able to build those out later on. But you can see our little ox is making its way out there to haul out this timber. This is starting to clear out really nicely. And what I want to do is you can see this, this field that I've got here. I'm probably going to want to do the same thing over in here. Just kind of have that curve right along into this space as well. Now, another thing I wanted to do here too is you can see we've got these wild animals in here. And if I build a road, you know, it's, it's kind of right close to that. I wanted to actually have a road that connects from our little forager's hut kind of down past this. Have it just bend right along here. And I kind of want it to come close to, but not really on top of that, that wild animals hunting grounds there. And just have this snake down along here and connect into here. And then I can take this tannery and I can move this. Let's see, is there anybody working in there? Yeah, there's somebody working in there right now, but there's nothing being stored. Can I move that? No, I can't. All right, well, I wanted to move it off of this road here because I was thinking about running this road back down through here and connect it over there. Maybe when we've got nobody working it. Well, he's not doing anything. So let's just take a look here. Do we have any more hides in the large storehouse? We are out of hides in the large storehouse. That's great news. So we can take him out of there, that family out of there, and we can actually demolish that tannery. Cherry stones running out of fuel. Oh, yeah, well, that's because nobody's got any yet. But let's get our tannery going again. Let's see. Will it fit into this little notch right there? Of course not. But it'll fit right there, which is, that's just fine right next to um, our little hunting camp. Keep it in this general area here. And the idea is, I think I want to keep this wooded through here. You know, if we can drop in maybe some marketplace stalls down along the edge here, and then just try and keep it wooded, just to keep it, uh, you know, keep it looking elegant, that would be nice. Uh, now, okay, Cherry Stone, Burgage, let's go check in. Yeah, okay, so we're starting to get houses built in here. This is great. One, two, three, four, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's coming right along, coming right along. And uh, we've got two families that are working on that. Still got our hitching post. We got a granary, a storehouse. I don't think we have anybody working in the storehouse right now. We do not, which is fine. How's our logging camp coming? Okay, still got seven logs there. So, yeah, I mean, things seem to be going pretty well. Ooh, yeah, we got to rename Goldhoff. Let's do that. All right, I got to jump down into here. Let's pause the game real quick. We'll go into Goldhoff. Let's call this, let's see. There's lots of berries in there. I have a feeling there's no fertility, so we're gonna go in and call this um, the East Orchard, like that. Okay, there we go. Let's close that, just kind of zoom back out. Oh yeah, East Orchard, there we go. And then we've got Eden Plains, Ferris Ridge, and Cherry Stone. Very nice, okay, cool. All right, back to it. So one of the things I wanna do is come in here and expand out our primary granary. This is, uh, it's you know, it's not being taxed, but we've got the resources. Let's go ahead and do it. And that way, let's see, five timber, 10 planks and five stone. Let's just see how we're doing. Oh yeah, we got plenty of everything. So let's do that. And that'll allow us to have more marketplace stalls coming out of this granary. And that's gonna be key. Let's just take a little quick here. Okay, Yorg is peddling, she's peddling. Uh, this one here, what's in there? It's a firewood stall, it still has two charcoal there. This is a clothing stall, it's been abandoned. And then we've got a firewood stall here. 
another firewood stall here. Let's do this. I'm going to come through here and I'm going to knock down some of these firewood stalls that really only have one or two pieces in them just to see what happens. And this one as well. We're going to take that down. Pantry is full in, in cherry stone. Ooh. All right, let's go back over and take a look. There we are. Okay, so let's take a look here. The pantry's full up here. All right, so let's take a look, take a look at our granary. We don't have anybody working the granary. We better get cracking on that. They got to get those out of there. And then how are we doing for our burgage plots? One, two, three, four. Can we upgrade one? Yeah, let's do that. And then I think that'll get us to our five, our five, uh, let's see here, living space. Five, unassigned, assigned, okay. How many homes, homes do we have? Oh, one, two, three. Oh, I thought we had five over here. It turns out we only have four. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. As soon as we upgrade one of these to add a second household, then we should be good to go. We'll have uh, we'll have our five there, and, and Cherry Stone will have leveled up. Let's extend this road down here. Kind of follow this terrain line, maybe off in this direction here. That'll give us the opportunity to put in some more burgages right down in this space here. So let's do that while we're at it. I like these larger burgages in this space because I think we're going to be having a lot of vegetables and, um, you know, uh, maybe some orchards in here. Let's see if we can... How big does that make that? Uh, no, I think we, I think we want to stick with the... Yeah, I like that. That's going to be good. Let's just check our fuel. Six months. Now we'll stay. We'll stick with two families for the moment. Let's keep that going. Uh, what am I thinking? Hello. Do that. And then we're going to add one to here instead. All right. So let's just keep chipping away at that. And then I think one of the next things we'll build will be a saw pit over in here. So we can start you now building and upgrading. All right. Nice. Back to Eden Plains. All right. Large granary finished. So that's good news. We've got... Ah, oh, we can add another person to this one. Let's do it. And this storehouse. Yeah, let's add one more. So we're going to try and manage the number of marketplace stalls based on our granaries and storehouses. Just to see how that... You know how that process works out okay what do we need to do over here oh we need fuel how do we get to our next oh i see we still have to build out these burgage plots oh okay that's why we haven't leveled up yet uh let's just take a look here we got logging camp we got one worker there we got a food stall we got a storehouse nobody there granary somebody working that and then let's just check in on our little forager hut down here sitting on 29 berries at the moment that's good we're going to need that food come winter. Food, we're sitting okay for cherry stone for this winter. Where we're going to struggle is the fuel. Uh, and I think we're out of fuel. So I'm going to need to assign somebody to this woodcutter's lodge. Oh, I've already got one group set up there already. And then once this is completed, we will have hit level one for cherry stone. And that'll be that'll be our mission for the rest of the, today's build. So let's just jump down in here and monitor their progress. I think they're they're working right along here. Cherry Stone has reached the first level and we get a development point. Nice work, everybody. Nice work. Oh, off to build the next one. Very good. Very good. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And we've got our whole development tree that is open for us. I think it'd be a shame for us to not do forest management right off the bat, though, over in this space since we've got that massive berry deposit. Let's just go ahead and take full advantage of that. And then I think what we'll be able to do is really lean into that for our, uh, you know, for our food gathering early on in the game and uh, really take us to that next level. Oh, that's just great news. Now let's just take a quick look here. We've got food for 13 months. We've got fuel for two months and it's June. We should be able to continue to gather firewood and and really get ourselves in a position to you know survive our first winter out here in Cherry Stone. And you can see we've got a couple more burgages. Well, this second burgage is being built. And then I have the ability to come in and expand a number of these like this burgage one this one that was just built we can expand that we can expand this uh not here and we can expand that one so we're just going to go ahead and, and get those rolling and we still have plenty of timber that's just great news so we'll go through the process of getting expansions in here and then i'm not going to have to worry about burgage's availability here for quite some time and then the next thing i guess the last thing i want to do in this space today is put in our saw pit. And I think we should probably drop that in somewhere close to our logging camp here 
So let's just draw this road out here and to connect into that space and then bring that around. And then let's get the saw pit. And we can drop that right into this little spot here, I think. We'll get the saw pit going in this space. And then we're going to have ourselves a really good position as we turn the corner and head into, uh, you know, get through the rest of summer and turn the corner, head into fall with a bunch of burgages at our disposal. I think probably the next family that comes in, I might put into the Woodcutter's Lodge. I'll wait till next year before building out some of these, um, you know, some of these vegetable gardens or whatever it is we're going to do down in this space. And then our storehouse, we can probably hire somebody, put somebody into that. Um, this Woodcutter's Lodge. As that fills up, then I might migrate somebody over into the storage house. I don't know. Maybe maybe the next person that comes in is going to work in the storehouse so we can start offloading all that firewood. Uh, we've got some things that we, uh, yeah, I guess some management that we need to do. But this is uh, this is great. Really good start over here in Cherry Stone. And then let's check back in over here quick in Eden Plains. And, uh, oh, here we go. Work area is empty. Who's, okay, is it this logging camp? I just want to make sure. Oh. No, it's this woodcutter's lodge. All right, so where was he? I don't remember where he was carving, but let's reassign him real quick, like, before we head out. And let's come down into... Hmm. I think we're going to come down into this space back here. All right, so let's do that. We're going to go advanced. We're going to set the work area. I'll probably leave a couple of trees in there to kind of tucked in behind that farm, but let's go down into this space right here. Clear that all out. Well, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. This was a lot of fun. As always, you know, we had two different bandit fights that we uh, that we went on today, and that's always that's always a lot of fun. It kind of changes what your game plan is for the day, but I sure do enjoy that element of this game. And then we got to rename all of our provinces. That was a lot of fun. And then we actually captured another one, which is, of course, the East Orchard area. And then on top of it all, we settled Cherry Stone. And Cherry Stone hit their first milestone and uh, they're well on their way as well. Now, looking out over the uh, the village here in Eden Plains, you can see our crops that are starting to fill in down here along that ridge line. We've also cleared this area out here so that our next growing season, we should be able to put in uh, some additional crops down along this 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 ridge line as well. And then, of course, our, our barley fields are starting to fill in nicely. We can paint in those fields as well and get those ready to to harvest next year as well again. So making great progress here. I have to kind of keep an eye on continuing to build out the militia, the military. Um, I've got a lot of residents here in town. The town continues to grow. We're up to 90 residents now. This is, this is fantastic. So um, continue to build up our force so that when we come to odds against the Baron, we should uh, hopefully do so with a much more level playing field. All right. Well, once again, thanks for joining us today. And until next time, Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.